What's up, family? Welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Interviews with the Chefs. And as you can see, I have the internet sensations themselves, <laughs> Devon and Jazz, is in the kitchen. Welcome to the show, folks. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. So we are going to get into something that I've been meaning to do for a while. I am about to have them help me make a shrimp burger. Come on in, family. Let's cook. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up. Let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, Come on cook in. It up. We are going to go over these ingredients, but first, Man, thank y'all so much for coming to the kitchen. Go ahead and toast it up for us real quick as we always do with our guests. Listen, folks, you have no idea how much of an honor this is, man. I just want to thank y'all for coming through, man. Appreciate it, man. We're glad to be here, man. Hey, man. Definitely in the kitchen with Big Chef Dro, man. Y'all yeah, like that? All right, so we're going to go ahead and go over these ingredients. Have y'all ever had a shrimp burger before? Never. No. Y'all y'all ever heard of it? No, yeah, I've I haven't. It, but I've never what we're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce you to this shrimp burger, and we're gonna you're gonna see just how wonderful this thing is. Now, mm -hmm. there's a lot of videos out there, and I must say, I honestly think nobody has perfected this recipe. Yeah. But we're gonna perfect it today. All right. All right. Let's do it. So, first and foremost, we have our shrimp. Now, these are. 13, 15 shrimp. Does anybody know what that means? Yeah. 13, 13, 15 shrimp. Yeah, 13, 15. No idea. No. I just feel like it's 13, 15 shrimp. <laughs> uh, that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. Oh, that's exactly oh, right. Oh my God. That's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. So it's 13 to 15 shrimp per pound. Yeah. Okay. If it was 2130, it would be 21 to 30 shrimp okay. per pound. So anytime you see those numbers when you're out buying shrimp, that's what it means per pound. Okay. 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 So we have, I have 14. I'm going to use 14 of the shrimp to grind up into the mixer, yeah. the food processor. But then I have about five or six extra ones that I'm going to cut up in little small chunks just to give the burger some texture. Okay. Because okay. we're going to ground this up. Yeah to make it into a patty okay oh so it's gonna be one patty full of shrimp yeah it's gonna be all it's gonna be a shrimp patty oh okay. so i'm gonna take 14 of them and grind them up in the food processor okay, that's interesting. Gotcha. and then i'm gonna take the other ones and cut them up small so there there will be some shrimp texture as like when you're biting on in a shrimp okay. you'll get that inside of it as well okay. all right so we also have some garlic now my family knows i don't really measure out garlic but for this one we're just going to use a quarter of a cup of garlic then we have some ginger now have you ever had ginger like raw ginger before have you ever tried to prepare it what do you do grate it grate it do you take the skin off not really no okay that's see y'all y'all know what y'all doing why y'all Y'all don't need me. I'm not the cooker. She's the cooker. Well, y'all are one for one on the answers now. <laughs> y'all one for one on the answers. So you don't have to peel garlic. You can actually uh, grate your garlic the way with the, uh, with the rind on it. And then we have a lemon. We're going to use half of a lemon. Uh, and then I have some shallots. This is one whole shallot, uh, finely diced. Here I have uh, some peppers. I have green, orange, and... Um, some green uh, red. red orange and green bell peppers in there and then i have half of a jalapeno now i took some of the membrane out and some of the seeds mm -hmm. that's what makes it hot the mm -hmm. seeds and the membrane the membrane okay. is the white stuff on the inside mm -hmm. so, so that little whole thing is taken out so it's really not hot right now no no, no. the pepper itself is not what it would be if you eat it with yeah. the membrane and all that stuff so no no okay. no you'll be fine that's gonna add a little flavor to it okay, okay? now um, we also have some japanese uh panko breadcrumbs now this one here i have the uh, paprika i have my chef paul padon's uh redfish seafood magic i have my grey poupon dijon mustard 
some mayo and use the real mayo folks you know how i am don't use the vegan stuff the soybean stuff or whatever hell else y'all use and then i have some kosher salt and this is going to be coarse and some regular canola oil i think that's everything so we're going to go ahead get off into this get some really tough questions on the board for them y'all ready for these questions and they're ready for whatever <laughs> so uh we'll be right back let's get these burgers started all right so um a little bit of confusion y'all didn't think y'all thought i don't know what y'all thought what did y'all think was going to happen we with this with this and put it and on put the, it on the bus <laughs> I thought you were gonna make hamburger meat in with it and make a patty. Uh, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna, we gonna pulse we gonna pulse all these. So, in the food processor, we're gonna put 14 of these shrimp. Okay. Now, the secret to this is to make sure you get a really good um, pulse on this. You really want to be able to have this burger stick together. So you're gonna have to really pulse this up and almost into like a paste of so of sorts. Yeah. All right, anything that's left on there, you put it down in there. Mm, 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 mm. This is different. Very. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving a cake. It's giving a cake. All right, so this is the consistency of it. And this is gonna make sure that it just sticks together, okay? So um, now, since this is a paste, we want some type of texture into this. So what we wanna do is we wanna take these shrimp and just cut them into little, chunks. into little chunks, yeah. So then once you do it, you just, well, don't put it in there yet. So you think you can go ahead and Cut the rest of those up. Yeah. Well, she definitely can cut. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> so, so Devon, here's what I want you to do. So, I got this egg. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and crack it into this bowl. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want you to take a whisk. Do a little whipping over there. You know, a little sam sam. A little sam sam. You got to do. You're gonna have to get a little. Get a, yeah, 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 get a little, get a little get a aggressive. Little yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put about a fourth cup of uh, mayonnaise in there. All right. Now whip that all together. I want to see a creamy, nice consistency. Go back and forth with it. There you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a half of a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Now, we're gonna go ahead and season this. Now, I always tell my followers and my subscribers, I can't teach them how to season. No, no pun intended. <laughs> I can't, but I can't teach them how to season. Well, you can't learn nothing from me. <laughs> But um, I always tell them you got to learn how to flick that wrist. You season according to your taste levels, huh. your salt levels, what you like, what you don't like. Have you ever heard of the sand? The sand? Yes. No. If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't sneeze. So let me ask you all this. Um, what made y'all get into the social media thing? Ooh. You want to answer? Um when we kind of got we was doing you uh not youtube we was doing facebook and we were used we used to do a lot of um what is it called uh lives and we used to play games up there and we used to have a lot what do you mean games like we would do we would come up with games like couple games like random stuff yeah like and, just um, stuff that were trendy. just board games yeah. like anything we would play with the live mm -hmm. we would have them be a part of the live and then we used to start out with like 100 people 50 people and stuff like that and it just ended up growing up it, it, it blew up like to like and it was on your personal channel yeah just personal channel we wasn't no doing no social media really we just was just going live just being cute never had never had like youtube instagram all that stuff mm. 
just going live like dealing, just playing with everybody on live. So, so when did it when did it hit you that you may have something going here? When we started going live, like every day. Now what's doing now, the same thing? Now, now what, what, what was your first one? Everybody remembers their first viral video. Uh, I mean, uh, we was going viral on live. Yeah. We wasn't posting videos at the moment. We just was, our thing was, we gonna go home, go live, go mm -hmm. home, go live. We wasn't posting videos to do nothing. We would just go live. I and think um, we our, started going viral. Our first one that actually did something was when we were play fighting. That was the first live video that, to ever yes. go somewhere. Go viral. But our, our initial video, I mean, our initial thing that blew us up was a picture. A picture? Yeah. A picture. Of just us in the bathroom, just like she was standing in front of the sink, and I just like was wrapped around her, and I just like this. And the title to the picture was what caption. made it go crazy. It go crazy. What was the caption? Ooh. I made up a long a caption. Long I just like, made up like something like, um, like I, I get to fall to sleep next to it. I don't, I don't have to wake up next in the middle of my sleep or something because I'm sleeping with an angel like she watches over me. Okay. Um, you know, okay. I used to rap. I used to rap. Okay. So I used to think about, well, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead add some of this Chef Paul Padome seasoning in there as well. So uh, we're going to use a little salt. Just a little something. Look. <laughs> First of all, that's about the same amount of everything. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got you go bigger as you get more. Well, I only used a little bit because the chef Papa Dom's is spicy yes, stuff. it's salty as well. Okay, so this is what I do. So I'm you paying attention. I'm, I I know. <laughs> it's you. Okay. It all right. So now um, we'll go ahead put these peppers off in there, and then that's give that great. a stir, and then Jazz, I'm gonna let you do the ginger you can go ahead and pour the rest of those in there as well the, the, onion. the uh the onions and the pepper no no let jazz do that you okay, stir okay okay and this is the uh, those those are shallots shallots okay so we're putting the shallots in there get used to trying to dump it in, in there. there and you know? then the jalapeno the jalapeno okay and then we got the garlic All of this garlic? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that half a lemon's gonna go in there as well. Oh, go ahead, okay. squeeze it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There All you right. go. Half a lemon, the zestiness. And then I'm gonna let you go ahead and uh, grate Ooh, the garlic. All right, tell me when. <laughs> yeah, we just want a little bit. A little, little yeah. bit, okay. Well, you're gonna have to grate uh, quite some time to get that. Um, the amount that you need. Also, just that little shedding right there will put the season in it. Yeah, just that little bit right there. Mm. All right. All right. So go ahead and drop your shrimp off in there, Jazz. In here? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, you see how you see how pasty this is? Mhm. Mm it's 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 real You see that? It's real yeah. pasty. Mm -hmm. That's going to allow it to stick together and to form. This is a, this. Listen, this is a very hard dish to do because there's so many rules into this dish. And I had to do this in the test kitchen for a couple of days before I because I made it one way and it came out good. But I added an ingredient that I didn't like. So I had to make it again and I made it though. I made it really good, but I didn't grind up the shrimp very well. So that didn't go. So when you learned that you need so I had to, to yeah, and that's what the test kitchen does. Go ahead and get that out of there, Devon, and then you can just use this. I like the way it looks. Yeah, yeah, like it Jazz, you might want to take over because he playing <laughs> stern. I don't know what he doing. <laughs> Listen, this is what he doing in the kitchen on regular. So Devon uses four ingredients. Okay, four. He don't know about the other stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a um, actually. Uh, we'll use a half. I'll use a half cup of this panko. Now, this is going to also this is going to give it some firmness that it needs, uh, so that it doesn't break apart while it's cooking. Um, go ahead and uh, stir it up. I wouldn't have a, a problem 
you putting this on the like making the burger mm -hmm. and then putting it in the panko, okay. but you can't do it in a pan. You get, you gotta deep fry it. Oh, I would be okay with sick. it. Well, because it's gonna burn. It's just right, right, it, those right, breadcrumbs right. are not gonna last that long. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna put that in the fridge. So why are we putting it in the fridge? Uh, just so it can firm up a little bit more, mm -hmm. and the and the panko can start, you know, sucking up a lot of the um, the extra moisture that's in there. All right. Oh, okay. So once we've brought it out of the fridge, then we're gonna go ahead and cook this bad boy up. All right, so we'll be back. All right, so we're back. The uh, shrimp burger mixture has been in the refrigerator uh, for a little over an hour. We've best just been chatting it up and just chopping it up together. So uh, the one thing I want to ask, and I want to kind of put this towards Jazz. Okay. What's next for you two as it pertains to social media and building your brand? And I don't know if you know this or not, when a lot of females find out that I know you, the first thing they always say is not, and they think I know you know you, like we talk on the phone every day, but they'll, they say, why don't she come out with some products? Mm. So what's, I mean, and they always say hair, mm -hmm. makeup mm -hmm. and all this. So what's, what, are, what does the future look like for you, for you two? And when are we going to get those exclusive products or those brand deals from Jazz? Okay, so that's actually like a good a good question. A lot of people always ask me that, like, why haven't I started? I don't want to um, give. I don't want to give like a small percentage of it. I want to be a hundred percent in, mm -hmm. and I don't want to create something where it's not going to be stamped and it looks good because I'm very particular in what I want. Mm -hmm. So if I don't find something. Um, if I don't find the right things or the right this or the right that, I'm not really gonna be into it, and then it's gonna like it's gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna do it for a little bit and then I'm gonna fall off. Mm. So I plan on doing something. Um, I don't really want to say too much of what it is. You can't get an exclusive. <laughs> I know I know exactly what her problem is. She feel like everything has to be perfect to start. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I suffer from problem. that. I suffer from that. Yeah. I suffer from that because I didn't start my YouTube channel with a phone. Okay. Like everything oh, you see here, I bought everything. everything the first, right. I, I, I that said, was I'm your not, first video. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <That's> understandable. <laughs> everything you see now is what I had. I'm like, I'm not doing it on but the I phone. But I get that from you because the type of person that you come off as, you yeah. come off as neat, precise, and how you yeah. want it. And that's how yeah. I am. Like, I don't want to give somebody, start selling something, and it's just not. I'm really told opposite. Because they're going to call you out. Yes. I'm the total opposite. And I can't be talked about. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's. That bruises my ego. Right. Yeah. And I will just feel like crush but we yeah. do have things planned out we do have some things coming you guys okay so, all right yeah so what about you devon i'm told the opposite yeah i agree out the wig off her head and say <laughs> <laughs> and if they bought out and i use one of these but the way that he moves to is very smart because it also shows like you really coming from something that wasn't mm -hmm. you know polished being rough around the edges, but you got there. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm the total opposite. Yeah. So, so, so um, we're going to get into um, shaping up these uh, shrimp burgers here, mm -hmm. and these have really come together really good. These are nice. This the, the panko has worked really good on these, and you can basically you don't really have to worry about it falling apart. Look how I'm just yeah. doing this, and it's turning into it's a ball. Into a whole yeah. ball. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to get a, a, a little bit of it together. And we're gonna we're gonna make these pretty nice. Do those, really do those shrink up like burgers? No, okay. no. Everything oh. that you have in here is gonna be the exact size when it when it comes out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. The problem I think one of the problems is with it is that it it doesn't it doesn't give me the ability to make them thick. Oh, mm. like the more you add, it just gets wider. Yeah, wider. yeah. Okay. yeah. So it doesn't get doesn't get thick. Um, I mean, but that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So and out of this, the this was considered. You use thirteen, or, no, you use fourteen shrimp. Yeah, and which is a pound. Cut up. Okay, so this is a pound. Up. Uh, well, the ones that I put in the food processor was a pound. Okay. It was thirteen. There were thirteen to fifteen shrimps. So whether and that's because some are bigger, some are smaller than mm -hmm. others. 
so if you go to 14, you say, okay, I got a pound. Okay. And then, but then I added the five or six the cut, yeah, the that we cut up. up. Yeah. And you okay. see what they do. They're going to yeah. give you a nice bite yeah. in there. Okay? okay. Now, so that's how, that's how it's going to look here. And I'm going to let you two do that. And I'm going to ask you a question while you guys are shaping them. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to put some oil in here. Now, I'm going to use canola oil, okay? Is there a reason why? Yeah, because I think the butter burns it, mm -hmm. and canola oil does have a really, it's not on yet. <laughs> okay. Canola oil does have a high smoke point, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, I think the canola oil will be better. I don't think we'll have blackness and brownness all in the pan. If you, literally, if you go look at some of those videos, it's just not a pretty, it's not pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. um I'll set mine to the side on a, on a plate and then we'll we'll get yours yeah, together and then I'll have you two go ahead and get y'all together and let's see who let's see who makes the better let's see who makes the better burger so go ahead and dig in right now you're at 1.7 million plus followers on TikTok yeah do you ever think you'd get that get that big not at all so, so you're almost at a half a mil on YouTube. Yes. And then about 140, 150,000 on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But you said you started out on Facebook and you, there's only 35,000 on Facebook. Why do you think yeah. that is? I feel like because it was more of a like a different crowd. Okay. I Facebook like is older. Yeah, Facebook is the older crowd, plus no, it's the definitely. more crowd that's at, that's where we're from, like, mm -hmm. in Fort Myers. Okay. So, everybody else came out, when we started there, it came out all through the viral videos. You know, okay. I had Facebook before we was going viral, so yeah. I was adding that looks good. friends, and I added friends there. So, it was never, like, a viral video added my friends that I already had, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Instagram started going viral on there and that's what brought in all of those people so those are basically Maybe supporters and people. facebook is basically more of people that i really know okay until it hit the thirty-two thousand though okay so i feel like it's an older crowd and they like different stuff okay so do you do you do you do you do things for them or do you just kind of keep it the same or order across different platforms i literally don't care about facebook <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Listen, listen, that's what the family want to hear anyway. Yeah, Facebook Facebook don't put no money in my pocket, so. Oh, because you don't have it on the business yeah. uh, page. Mm -hmm. Ah, there uh, it is. I care yeah. less about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I care about the people, but yeah. I just don't care okay, about one just Facebook. one humongous one. Yeah, you can make it however, however big you want. That, here, you need more. Yeah, you need, he needs a little bit more in yeah, here. Yeah, so. Come on, because you give He'd it. He'd roll that back into a ball and, and pat it out. All right. So it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it smells good too. So, I do. Um, we're going to we're going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Uh oh. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, oh, no. y'all had a very very provocative picture on your Instagram page. What's the story behind? <laughs> what's the story behind those? It was it was about three of them. <laughs> what, what was the story behind those? <laughs> good. Um. Cause you gotta get the people talking. <laughs> okay. Basically. Yeah. Pretty sure they was talking off of those. Yeah. Definitely any, was. <laughs> very. Any publicity? Phone calls and any publicity? Were they good were they good publicity. phone calls? They were just like Jazz, you know? What you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what are you guys talking about? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get ready uh, to put these burgers on. Then we're gonna get our buns nice and toasty. You like toasted buns? Toasted buns. Toasted I buns. Sure do. <laughs> we'll be right back. So so Jazz and Devon, so Jazz and Devon done backed up again. So come on, let's go ahead and put this in here. Oh, it's not doing the popping. The grease ain't in the middle. Oh, it's not? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Now, let me ask you, you see how your oil is moving around uh -huh. in there like that? Now I'm gonna turn this down because I do believe these should be cooked on a lower temperature mm. just to stop that burning and all that stuff that goes along okay. with it. 
Um, but yeah, this is just how this pan probably from cooking on it, it kind of got a lump, lump in, in it. In the, okay, in that's the, what I yeah. was going to say. That irritates so, me. So with this. But I'm using this pan because it's a non-stick. A non-stick. Yeah. yeah, and I don't want to take the risk of. So you don't use no, you need a non-stick for these types. I would say that, yeah. And I don't really use non-sticks, mm -hmm. to be totally honest with you, unless I know I have to or I should. Um, so this is one of those cases where I'm like, yeah, I'm probably going to use a non-stick because again, I've saw a lot of videos where they just did not come out right. Mm. And so sometimes you, sometimes, you know, cooking is freelancing, but sometimes you have to follow some rules, right. yeah. you know, um, that's just how some, sometimes that's just how it, that's just how it happens. Yeah. So in the meantime, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and toast these buns up and we got some brioche buns. Some who to what? Brioche buns. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> so once that gets hot, we'll put that on there. Do y'all do y'all like tomatoes and lettuce? I, do. I, don't I like, like tomatoes. tomatoes. You like tomatoes? No. You like onions? Yeah. I like onions, yeah. Like onions? Love okay. onions. Well, we got onions in here, so we don't gotta put yeah. no onions on there. Um so yeah, we'll put some tomato. We'll put you just want yours plain with the remoulade? Just plain. Okay. You want lettuce and tomatoes I'll, with I'll yours? Do mine plain. You I'll do yours do plain? Mine plain? Okay. I'll do it plain. Okay. I want to try it. You're, you're, trying to, you're trying to get all the, yeah, all every, the flavor. I want yeah. every piece of yeah. flavor that's yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, don't disrespect the I want, flavor. I want the onions review. <laughs> I want to wash it down with no... So how long are you supposed to really kind of cook these onions? Well, it's no, there's really no particular time okay. frame. Um, what you want to do is, with something like this, you want to pay attention to the sides of it. Gotcha. And as it starts to cook, as you start seeing it cooking on the sides, mm -hmm. you know that the bottom of it is already formed mm -hmm. and it won't break on you. It's gotcha. ready to go. So you want to be a lot of times as cooks, we don't want to be patient. You want to like sort of like how you said Devon cooks Yay. on high all the time. We we don't want to we don't want to be uh, patient and we don't want the process to mm -hmm. go the way it should go. Yeah. Um, this is the type of stuff that you can easily mess up trying to turn it too fast or having it up too high. Mm. You know, because if you have it up too high, yeah, it's going to cook that bottom, but the inside is not getting cooked. It's not forming together. Yeah. And so we kind of got, you know, we'll have a mess on our hands at that point. Okay, we don't want a mess. <laughs> we are about to make uh, a big transition. Mm -hmm. So do you want to tell us you know, what's going on, how did this come about, and uh, what we're doing, what's what's next? Mm. So you're saying the move, basically. Yeah, hey man, it's a, it's a transition. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm not going to drop the city of where we're going. Oh, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's just like, it's something better for us. Uh huh. Because where we're going has became like, the YouTube headquarters, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go over there. We we know a lot of people over there already. Um, okay. And we're just gonna go over there to expand and just. It's more people in that state and city doing the same thing we do. So it okay. makes it a way easier. A lot of collaborations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of collaborations, and then sometimes here we we tend to lose focus. You know, I would say like. I wouldn't say bored with it, but you know, you lose, you lose that that feel for that sometimes. Yeah. So you're, you're you're not really being challenged. Yeah. And I feel like when you got people around you, when you lose focus, you know, out of the, out of out of that many people that's actually doing the same thing, they'll bring that. Focus exactly. Back. They're gonna bring the best out you too. Right. Yeah. And they're gonna offer ideas. They're gonna offer, you know, yeah. um, you can you can. Um, you have to be in a place where, you know, you're able to continue to grow and continue to get better uh, at your craft, bounce ideas off people. Yeah. All right. So I think this uh, skillet is hot enough. Oh, he's just throwing it on the butter like that. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, what, what's the name of the bread again? Brioche. 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 <laughs> Is that from a different country? <laughs> <laughs> I think a brioche bun is a French bun. Oh. Okay. Um, and they they um, they're really good if you get the sliced brioche and do. So does it give Hawaiian bread or does it? Oh uh, no, it no. Is it, is it, it's a little bit of 
sweetness to those. Okay. Um, the, the better ones is the slices, the brioche slices. Mm -hmm. um, you can do some crazy French toast with those. We are ready, ready? to pull these bad boys up. Uh, look how, ni look how nice they look. And they're fat. Oh, yeah. Look how nice oh. that looks. Like just straight season. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at how nice like this looks. Oh yeah. Thick. Amazing. I can't believe that is all shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. It's looking more, we need to do this more often. <laughs> <laughs> do, we really do. No more shrimp, nothing. I want these. <laughs> so is this considered as like a burger? No, I'm saying like a burger. <laughs> so uh we're gonna go ahead and assemble uh these for them and let them taste and see exactly how delicious they are. So mm -hmm. get ready for the taste test. All right, family. So we got the taste testing geared up, ready to go. Now you won't be hearing me smack today, <laughs> but you're gonna be hearing them. Look at this burger. Look at it. Look at it. Look how beautiful. It's look at that. Humongous. Look at that. Look at look at this. Oh man. So we put some remoulade on there. Uh, if you want to know about my remoulade, I've done it in a, a, another couple of videos. But man, y'all go ahead and dig in. Let me see what y'all think. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's see what y'all think. Oh my. Wow. <laughs> hey, <No>. man. <laughs> what? Listen. This is that burger you. You call the shelf from the back. <laughs> hey, listen here. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> oh no, they're, they're good. They're good. See, I wouldn't eat two of these. Maybe three. <laughs> what? And it's like the crisp on the outside. On the outside, yeah. yeah. I mean, the it's just right. Yeah. Really? I, I think I think I've perfected this recipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you definitely. I think I've perfected it. I don't think nothing else needs to be added to this. I spent days in the in the in the test kitchen doing different types of well, listen here. recipes for this. His days <laughs> definitely <laughs> worth it. <laughs> listen, when we, we when we go where we go, y'all see them already. How we going? We'll be flying yacht because listen here. <laughs> All right, family, that is it. They have given me the seal of approval. Now, before we get out of here, go ahead and drop those tags, drop those handles for everybody who wants. Uh, to check you out on social media. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll tell them because my, my burger's going. <laughs> so, um, Devon and Jazz on YouTube. Y'all can go subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification. Make sure you check out old videos, new videos. Instagram, the real, underscore the real jazz with three Z's or two Z's. Three. And Devon Watlow Baby 239 and Facebook, Devon Wardlow and jasmine bats and TikTok is white low baby and the underscore real jazz mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you ain't got you, you ain't just got you things. just <laughs> this and how I, I had you the last time <laughs> listen this how i had her the last time the last one time. thing about this <laughs> the only problem is there's not a second one to go <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great burger man first time and i don't even taste I don't like to taste new things, but I know what I'm dealing with, Chef Drew. So I appreciate I that. Man. You got something you want to say, Chef? <laughs> Is there anything you need? To, you I want another one. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything, anything, any last words for you two? Nah, man. Uh, that was amazing. When this camera cut off, I'm make, I'm make another one. <laughs> Basically. So, family, thank you for coming through. Go ahead on your way out. Hit that like button. And don't forget, if you are not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be a member of this channel, go ahead and hit the join button so you can be introduced to a lot of great behind the scenes, some other types of content, and being a member will get you fully written out recipes. So folks, until the next time we see you, until the very, very next video, as always, family, peace. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up.